In this presentation, we will be demonstrating the FI-8510-20M fully integrated model. The FI-8510-20M will punch 85 tons or up to a 1 and 1 16th inch hole in 1 inch material. With our optional 6x6 die holder, you can punch up to a 4 inch hole in 3 16th inch material, allowing you to make big holes fast. Our two cavity rods here will shear round rod up to 1 and 1 half inches and square rod up to 1 and 1 quarter inch. This hold down device is readily adjustable to prevent kick up of the rod when shearing less than the maximum capacity material. On this model, the capacities in the angle shear cavity are up to 6 inches by 6 inches by 1 half inch. The material is parted with a single crop off cut with no material loss. Another of its outstanding features is that both even and off leg angle can be sheared without changing the blades. This hold down device is readily accessible to prevent kick up of the angle when shearing less than maximum capacity material. To miter angle up to 4 inches on these machines, crank the hold down device down to the material and place the material in the machine at the desired angle. We offer as standard equipment on this model an oversized miter table with a movable squaring arm. This allows you to make multiple cuts of a particular angle very easily. The FI-85 will shear mild steel up to 1 inch by 12 inches and 3 quarters inch by 20 inches, a 36, 65,000 tensile steel with minimum distortion of the cutoff piece. Thin material can be sheared without any changes in the clearance settings of the blades. The rectangle notcher on this FI-85 is as strong or stronger than any machine in this tonnage range. Capacities up to 3 inches by 5 inches in 1 half inch material are well within its capabilities with the additional advantage of up to a 3 inches by 3 inches in 1 half inch 90 degree V notch in one stroke. The bottom blades can be rotated four times for decreased tooling costs. The use of the stroke controls will greatly improve the production you can receive from these machines. By using the stroke controls, you can eliminate the free travel time before the tool reaches the part. Brakes are available in 12 and 24 inch lengths. Both have different braking capacities depending on the width of the bottom die opening and length of the brake. The 12 inch brake mounts parallel to the machine and the 24 inch brake mounts perpendicular to the machine. Both brakes have 85 tons of force available. This 6 inch angle iron brake is designed to be used in conjunction with a built in notcher on this machine to form box frames using angle iron. Channel shearing is not an available option on many iron workers. If it is available, it will require a major tool change that will be very costly in man hours and will require additional changes for each different size channel. With a Scotchman channel shear, you can adjust the tool from 2 inches to 6 inches and easily slide it in or out of the workstation for easy setup or storage. Our optional 6x6 90 degree notcher can do a big job for you. This tool will notch 6x6 in 5 16 inch material. This piece of tooling is mounted in the punch station. For making hand railing, our pipe notcher is a must. We carry Schedule 40 pipe dies from 3 quarters inch to 2 inches in stock. Dies for tubing and Schedule 80 pipe are also available. Simply insert the pipe into the die, cycle the machine, then rotate the pipe 180 degrees and cycle the machine again. Now you have a perfect saddle for welding. For you ornamental iron people, this picket tool is a necessity. Simply put the square tube into the dies and cycle the machine. This tool will crush and form the tube, giving you a perfect picket point every time. This tool can be used for round and square tubing in one half, three quarters and one inch sizes. This optional square tube shear will cut up to 2 inch 16 gauge tubing with minimal distortion. It mounts in the punch station and along with the picket tool 
is a high volume tool for security fences and other applications that require the use of square tubing. Next we will demonstrate our optional urethane stripper. The stripper is demonstrated here in conjunction with our multi-lock advanced measuring system. This stripper is designed for applications that require a repeated series of holes in strap material where deformation of the material is a problem. As you can see in this demonstration, there is very little deformation of the material. Many of our end users want to punch holes in the leg of channel, I-beam or H-beam. With this optional offset die holder, you can punch in the leg of these profiles up to 6 inches in height. The maximum capacity for this tool is 40 tons. There will be many occasions when large runs of flat, rod and angle must be cut in the same length. Serious consideration should be given to this optional back gauge and conveyor system. The back gauge will swivel to all stations on the iron worker for quick, easy setup. When combined with a standard stroke control, you can make small pieces out of big ones in a hurry. This back gauge is available in two different styles. It is provided standard as a mechanical stop for setting your desired lengths. It can also be provided as an electronic back gauge that will automatically cycle the machine when material is presented to it. The conveyor comes standard with rollers for the plate shear and tooling station. These conveyors will greatly increase productivity and reduce operator fatigue.